In this video, I want to show you how to use artificial intelligence on your YouTube channel and how it can possibly help you get more views depending on how you use it. Before I talk about artificial intelligence with the YouTube channel, I want to talk a little bit about what is artificial intelligence and is it here to stay? We've already had it a lot around for a long time. If you think about it, how many times have you called the doctor's office or called any company to ask a question, you end up with a robot on the other side, some machine trying to answer all your questions. It's basically artificial intelligence. There's a robot behind there. What is artificial intelligence? Well, it's it's something that takes the place of a human being. Instead of the intelligence from you, it's a machine or a robot. And some of the areas that we've that you're going to see artificial intelligence, if you haven't already, are manufacturing robots self-driving cars, smart assistants, healthcare management, automated financial investing, virtual travel booking agents, social media monitoring, marketing chat box. So we're going to find it in all areas of our life. And, and, and one of the areas that you can use it is on YouTube, but you have to use a tool called vidIQ. I'm going to show you here how you can actually use artificial intelligence to possibly increase your views. I have a mock video here, one that's already been uploaded. I actually had to chop it up a little bit so it didn't get uploaded twice. But when you go to upload your video, you're, you're, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this, okay? And something that's different here is right here. It says, get an artificial intelligent title recommendation. And this comes free. Um, or you get so many credits with this level of the account, which is not very expensive. And down here, you can also get an AI description. Now, I could put something like um, how to build a cool play set. I'm just trying to do something very simple. Instead of using that very direct title, I can hit get AI title recommendations. And here we go. You can say unveiling the secrets to building an epic play set. The ultimate guide, crafting your dream playset. Discover the key steps to creating an awesome playset. Unlocking the secrets of building a cool playset. Master the art of creating a jaw-dropping playset. So you can see there, those are really cool titles, and they're they're going to they're like clickbait, right? They they entice you to really want to hit the hit that button. Now, if you were building a playset and you don't care what it says, you probably would go ahead and click this one anyway. But for those people who you know might just be interested and see what it's about, some of these titles are really going to make them click, even though they otherwise may have not. So I'm going to pick this one here, unveiling the secrets to building an epic playset. So I'm going to click that. And then that's going to pop up here. Now from that, if I go down here for my description, it's going to use those words into the description. And right here, add keywords. So some of my keywords will be um, building a playset, right? Because that's what I'm doing. That, those are the basic things that I'm doing. And then I'm going to get a title. In this video, we're going to be unveiling the secrets to building an epic playset. This playset will be perfect for your little ones and will provide them with hours of fun. If you're looking for a playset that will be a hit with your little ones, then be sure to check out this video. We'll be showing you how to build the perfect playset for your kids from the ground up. This playset will be a hit with your family and will provide hours of fun. Now, doesn't that make you want to click that video? It's so much better than how to build a playset. I'm going to show you an example of where I did use this artificial intelligence in vidIQ and just show you how in that particular video, how many views that I got. I created this video on my other channel. My other channel, I call it more of a hobby because <laughs> I love, um, it's about Amish, my Amish neighbors and I just enjoy going around making different videos about my Amish neighbors. Well, I had made one about the egg industry. Um, there was a couple of things that enticed me um, to do this, but this was the first time I ever used the artificial intelligent title recommendation. It said the Amish secret that could change the egg industry forever. And then if you scroll down a little bit, of course, then you can put your um, description in, but you also have a choice where you can also create a thumbnail. Now, I was reluctant, to be honest, to start using this. And when I did, I was really um, very pleased with the results. As you can see over here, as of today, this video has gotten over 75,000 views. Now, for me, for my channel, 
that is amazing. Look at my views in general. I typically get 200 to 600 views on my videos, but this one got 75,000. And I honestly attribute it to the fact that I use the title creator from vidIQ, the artificial intelligence. Now you might say, well, why aren't you using it with every single video? I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want every single video to have that click, click, feeling to it. Um, a lot of times when you pull that up, it does say um, amazing secrets, unveiling this and unveiling that. And to me, that can also be overused. So I don't use it on every single one, but I do want to show you that be selective, figure out when you want to use it. And I'm telling you, it will help your views go up. I had an amazing, um, a lot of comments came in, a lot of likes, uh, when this first was going crazy in the beginning, most videos will be really strong at first and then they kind of taper off. This one was getting comments like crazy, unlike my other videos. So I really do attribute it to using vidIQ. If this is something you would like to look at, I do have a, a I do have a link below, but I want to show you the different programs that they have before we do that. VidIQ has a basic program that is free, and if you're reluctant, that's a great place to start, but you always want to pay attention to what you're getting. Um, a lot of times, it's it's a good thing to go up to that next level because you're going to get a little bit more. I, this one that I have is the pro account, and it works for me, but like I said, in that account, I get 10 clicks for the artificial intelligence at, um titles, descriptions, and thumbnails. If you want more, if this is something that you love doing, you think it's been very successful for you, then you want to boost it. But again, start small and then move your way up. But this gives you an idea of everything that you get. If you scroll down, you can see what you get for each price. And again, for me, I have found that I like the pro account. I stick mine in my Chrome extension and it's right there. And I have two channels on it. So that is actually kind of cool because you don't have to pay two different fees. If you boost it, I think it will cover three. I haven't boosted, so I'm not sure. Now I have gone in and done a previous video about comparing vidIQ to, to TubeBuddy. I have done a previous video um, in the past about comparing TubeBuddy and vidIQ. And as I told my audience then, I use both for different reasons, but I will say, I've, I'm asked this a lot, which one do you like better? And I will say I am starting to lean more towards vidIQ, but I still use TubeBuddy. There's still some things that's there that's not here. So I will do another comparison now that vidIQ has this feature and TubeBuddy does not. And I will show you the, the comparisons and I'll make another video if that's something you'd like me to do. But there are still some things on the other one that I use that this one doesn't have. So until they both have the same thing or one out does the other, until then I still use both. I hope this was helpful. Um, I encourage you, at, if the very least, get that, you know, click that link and, and check it out for a little bit and see if it's something you like. But I definitely were in a in a world where we're going to be using artificial intelligence and it's a good time to get on board.